barely see it. <laughs> Can you see that building? Not really? Yeah, that's because of the pollution. Where are we, Crimson? We are in China. Stop <laughs> though. Oh, is that me? <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? Um, so today we are going to be talking about what? Today we are going to talk about. I fucked up. Scratch this shit. All right, start again. I'll just edit that off. All right, what's up, everybody? Um, me and Anthony back at it again. Um, and today we are going to be talking about what? Today we are going to be talking about. Food in China. What do they eat here? <clears throat> Eric, do they really eat cats and dogs? Oh my god. Yes, they do. Kind of. Kind of. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. I guess for people who are curious about that, um, they do, but not as much as you think it. It's, it happens. Um, they do sell dogs, or have, uh, I know I've heard that at certain stores they used to sell it. I guess they pulled it. Have you ever seen dog meat before? I don't think I have. Have you? I have. But only once. And I've been here for nine months. Uh, there was an experience I had walking down like a very, I want to say, like, kind of like old, more old fashioned street. This wasn't in a grocery store type place or anything. This was um, just like some place where you could buy street meat, street food, and uh, yeah, they wheeled a cart out, and on the cart was a skinned dog. So I have seen it, but that's the only time I've seen it. Once. In but months. don't go judging, um, thinking that Chinese people are cold-hearted for eating dogs because it's the culture, you know. It's, it's I feel like it's more of a rare thing now, and there are people who still care about dogs a lot of people have them as pets or cats and it's just like the states you know you see a video of some guy beating up a dog and people take it to town you know people actually care it's the same here so i know plenty of people who hate that shit and they're quick to fight against it um like the yulin dog festival this is a real festival they do have a dog eating festival not here in yulin what is the Yulin Dog Festival. Um, well, they just like round up like thousands of dogs and fucking butchered them, boiled them, and it's just, it's, them there's videos and it's fucking terrible. Um, but you know, like a lot of people in China are pushing the government to ban it, to stop it. So it's not like they're cold hearted people. I know there's a lot of mis misperception of the Chinese people, but they're still nice, they care. Um, but what else do they eat besides cats and dogs? Well, other different types of meat, uh, things that I've eaten here. Uh, they do eat uh, goose, pigeon, uh, donkey. I have tried that. What else? Yak. Yak is like... What is yak? Yak is like the big furry thing. You know, it's, but it's similar to beef. The big furry thing. We, big all know, furry. we all know what that is. I don't really know how to describe it yet. A big, hairy, furry thing, similar to like a buffalo or a bison. Yeah, I would say so. I'd say the Asian like version <clears throat> of a buffalo or a bison. So the meat is red meatish, uh, definitely fatty, um, but good. Also had yak jerky, uh, that was good. Uh, donkey, believe it or not, was good. Tastes like regular red meat to me. Um, we'll do a video showing you guys us eating some of that stuff. Goose is like similar to duck, but not as good. I think duck is better. 
personally. I like duck. Was it served cold? Sometimes you order duck here. I know I made a mistake and ordered duck. <clears throat> I like my meat hot, you know? Mm -hmm. Nice and right out the oven. Yeah. Sometimes you get duck thinking you're gonna get that and it's cold. Sometimes they have cold uh, cold meat dishes and they love it. Some of it is good, but some of it just tastes like it's yesterday's leftover. <laughs> maybe it is, maybe it's not, but it's just mm -hmm. that's just that's just a culture. Uh, some some meats are served cold because they like it like that. But now, because of that experience, I ask. <laughs> so I ask them, is this cold or hot or whatever? You know, and, uh, most most of, like the southern style places will kind of warm. Like Hong Kong Fifty Six is hot. Well, they have both. And what else? The Beijing duck places, those, those are all warm, usually. I think you can get both. Um, yeah, they do have the cold <coughs> meats. What else? They do, they do eat some scorpions and stuff here. Scorpions. I've had scorpions. Uh, Other bugs, what? Cicadas? Cicadas. Silkworms? Silkworms. Crickets. Massive crickets. Crickets, yeah. Crickets that are um, big. They also I've keep had... the crickets as pets. Yeah, massive. In, in a little cage, and just chirping away. And they're, they're like <clears throat> the size of a big mouse. Prepping them so that they're ripe and they're good <laughs> to eat. Um, scorpions I've had, and you know, some people might think, wow, that's fucking awful. It's disgusting. How could you eat that? I have this fear of if I eat an insect, it's cooked or not. The moment I bite into it, it's going to explode <laughs> with juice. You know, just disgusting juice. <laughs> that wasn't the case with the scorpion, though. Um, Seasoned it all nice. I heard it's crunchy, right? Like real crunchy. Yeah, it's crunchy. It. Uh, it was tolerable. I'm like, you know, I'm not a, a fan of scorpion. It's not like I'm gonna go to a restaurant and be like, give me all the scorpion you got now. I wouldn't probably never eat it again. I will do it one more time uh, to get it on film. But I've had that, and I've had <clears throat> it was either a silkworm or a cicada. That wasn't wow. as it wasn't as crunchy as a scorpion, which made it less <laughs> desirable. Um, but people eat that shit. It's just like all over. I mean, it stands. Like, like it's, it's it's just the norm. You know, like when we walk by, it's just like, fuck, look at that. They're selling insects. When a Chinese person walks by, it's just like, I wonder if this tastes as good as that shop over there. You know, they're just so used to eating it. Um, some are probably not, though, because when I tell Chinese, certain Chinese people that I've had that, they kind of look at me like, whoa, you're fucking crazy. Why would you eat that? Um, I guess for the hardcore Chinese person, it's normal. Um... What else do they hear? Uh, do they organ eat? meat? Organ meat? <clears throat> a lot of organ yeah, a lot of that. I don't, of I don't that. mess with that. I don't really like those. Have you tried any of it? No. I've tried some. No, I, I haven't tried no bugs, but I've tried some of the organ meat. Is it as nasty as I think it is? Most of it, yes. Uh, chicken hearts? It wasn't too bad. But something about eating a fucking heart, like, it just makes me a little squeamish, personally. I, I did try it because Jordan and them were like, hey, it's good, try it. And it's okay, I could eat it. You know, it's not something I would order over regular chicken meat. Uh, intestines, it's fucking gross, honestly. It's just like chewing on rubber. Don't recommend it. Uh, livers, kidneys. Uh, I'm, a, I'm not a huge texture guy with food, but with organ meats, it's just it's got a, that kind of texture where you're just kind of like, Am I eating this? I'm a huge texture guy, so that's not what I would have messed with. It could be something that tastes absolutely amazing, but if it just don't feel right in my mouth, no homo, then I don't want it. Um, but I've had chicken hearts back in the States. I think that's it's a Portuguese thing. My parents like love eating it. I just can't, because chicken hearts is also like a textural type of thing. Yeah, um, it's not as bad as liver or kidney, but yeah. And, you know... The big question, do Chinese people really eat a lot of rice? Uh, no, they don't. Let's stop with this stereotype. I'm lying. Fuck yeah, they do. It's just, like, they eat a lot of fucking rice. It's, it's all over. Uh, I love rice, so I have no problem with it, but, you know, you hear things of, you know, Chinese people have rice bellies. Yeah, they do, because they eat a lot of rice. Um, different types of rice, but I guess it's the norm, plain white rice, they eat a lot. Um, served with a lot of dishes, especially if you go to like regular little Chinese locales. Um, a lot of dishes are served with either rice or noodles. You know, um, if you can get it with noodles, you can get it with rice. But that's just the norm here. Mm. Um, what else? Uh, they're big here, especially we're up north. So uh, dumplings, jiaozi, uh, those are actually really good. 
you can get so many different variations of dumplings. Um, they have like pork, uh, shrimp. I know one place that has beef dumplings, um, vegetable dumplings, pretty much anything you can want dumpling wise. That's a big one. Uh, another one is a, the little meat buns. It's called bowza. Um, bigger dumpling, but it's like so that's bready. A, it's bready. It's a, it's a sweet bit. Not always. It's not always, but sometimes. You can get sweet um, ones. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people in the states like dumplings. I know this. Whenever people order Chinese food, I know a lot, a lot of people love dumplings. Uh, you haven't had dumplings until you had it in China. They're, they're definitely a lot different here. And I guess a good, a good question is because a lot of people say Chinese food back at home isn't really Chinese food. And yeah, it's not, man. It's, not. it's definitely not. Um, what you eat back home in Chinese in Chinese restaurants, I feel like that's just it's that Chinese restaurants just like different seasoning or whatnot. But you don't get that full authentic Chinese flavor or type of food. Do they have sesame chicken in China? No. What about General South? No, chicken? they won't know what the fuck you're talking about if you ask for that. No, it does um, not exist. But there's a, a wide variety of Chinese food. Specifically, we call it Muslim noodles because um, there's Chinese Muslims and they have their own shops and they're the best fucking shops ever because they have an extensive amount of different foods and all they're cheap. You get like a nice platter of... <clears throat> I normally go for uh, it's like noodles with a piece of beef and potatoes. Uh, is that, yeah, because they don't do pork. Uh, it's beef and potatoes and peppers and onions, and it's just a big old massive platter of this delicious meal that definitely fills you up. If you don't really eat a lot, you probably won't finish it. And <clears throat> that with like a side of this little soup that they have. Um, it's like a water soup, but it's delicious. You can get that and a drink, and your total would probably be about like three U.S. dollars, sometimes less, certain spots. Yeah, our Muslim noodles, the plate of noodles that I got there was like... 11 quai. That's that's under two dollars. Two dollars, and it's like this big, massive plate of food that I can't finish. I eat a lot. Yeah. So it's when you think about it, you could break it down. Good. You could break it down to like two meals. You know, eat half of it and save half for later. So you like two bucks. You got dinner and lunch. That's crazy. Uh, when you compare it to what can two dollars get you in America? Uh, right. Agreed. What's the other most famous thing here? You know what I'm thinking of? Hot pot. Ah, hot that pot is, is good. I have asked so many Chinese people, like, what is your favorite place to go to? And they're always just like, hot pot. What is hot pot? So hot pot is, pretty much is what it sounds like, right? You get this little, like, you get these tables and they have the uh, heaters on them. What the hell you call those? I get a pot with water and you can get the, the broth kind of seasoned, either like spicy you know, really hot or uh, mildish or whatever. And then what they do is you just kind of order what you want. So shrimps, uh, pork, vegetables, and you have your own pot or you can do a group pot. And you just taste, take all this stuff, it's raw, throw it in the hot pot, cook it up, cook it's, it up It's essentially liking. them saying, hey, go fuck yourself, we ain't trying to cook this. You cook, cook it yourself. Cook your own shit. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's good, you know, because you're sitting there and it could be, there's a lot of different places. You might find some little ratchety looking ones and you might find a nice little hot pot spot like Heidi Lau. I haven't been there yet but I heard good stories. And essentially you make what you want to make. Yeah, you, you make have, it how you want to make it. Yeah. Season how you want to season it, all that. It is nice. Some are cheap, some are pretty expensive. Uh, but normally at a hot pot you kind of go there with groups of people. Because you get a, a, pot, a decent sized pot that you can't really finish yourself. Um, and it's normally good. Like I said, you make what you want to make. So I've had a hot pot where I just put a bunch of random shit. Beef, egg, potato, uh, Chinese cabbage, snake, which I don't recommend. Snake isn't that great. Um, no? It's just, me personally, I don't think, I don't think it is. I it has this yet. weird flavor, but it comes out in like little circles like that already sliced up. And you just take it, put it in. It ruined the whole broth. Really? Yeah. Um, I was gonna try snake too. I don't know, too sure. What else? For a lot of a lot of veggies. Actually, one good thing about China, I'm not a vegetable kind of guy, and anybody that knows me knows this. I fucking hate vegetables. China kind of changed that because 
they know how to season their vegetables here, man. I hate broccoli. I hate that shit. I don't like it. I don't do broccoli. But here in China, it's like, yeah, why not? Give me a, a nice platter of garlic broccoli. And it's just, I can eat it. Well, they also um, appear to soak it in oil. And I love that shit. But, uh, steamed vegetables that are fried up in oil vegetables. There's a lot of fried, a lot of frying going around. Oh, fried shit. Um, oh, what's the, uh, what's Chinese barbecue? Man, Chinese barbecue, aka Shao Kao. Shao Kao. Uh, fucking awesome. Uh, depends on also where you go, because they're, they're all over. Everybody's outside barbecuing. Um, and you can find it at four o'clock in the morning, and it's cheap. And you can find a variety of stuff, <clears throat> shit that doesn't make sense, and shit that's good, like little shish kebabs or um, all. They they all kind of have their own Chinese seasoning. So most Shao Kao's do kind of have a similar flavor. Cumin. Is that what it is? Yeah. Cumin. It's just destroyed in cumin. Um, it's covered in cumin. But it's cheap. And... It's cheap, it's good, but it's very hit or miss. I was yeah. telling you the other By day... that, he could also mean you might think you have lamb. But it might be barking at you. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> sometimes... I've heard stories. I don't know if it's true or not. Like... <clears throat> Nah, I'll save that story for another day. I don't want to. I don't want to dissuade you into thinking that you shouldn't come to China and try the food. Uh, it's good. You know, it's like anywhere really. You might get something you think you have. It might not be. You know, like with America, a bunch of GMO shit. To me personally, if it tastes good, I'm fucking eating it. I don't care what it what it is. Um, what else is there? Shao cow, rice. What else we gotta cover? Really about it. Drink wise, oh drink, yeah, uh, drink. It's, it's very fucking weird here when it comes to drinks. They like a lot of their drinks hot. There was one time, <clears throat> this is when I was living in the east, Melian Guangchang, mm. uh, Lian Mall, and I asked for orange juice. I like my orange juice cold, like any um, other normal person, I'm pretty sure. And it just came out hot, like I had to sip it, you know. And it's, I, don't, I don't want orange juice hot. It's just weird. But they like a lot of hot drinks. Water. Hot. hot, you know, like Always. they look at plenty of times. If I was to drink cold water, they kind of look at me weird. Like, what are you doing? Why would you do yeah, that? Fucking sacrilege. <laughs> um, <clears throat> he's a savage. But they say it's healthy for you drinking hot water, so they do it. Everybody has a fucking water bottle, and I mean, serious. I'm serious when I say that. If you, everybody. Everybody has their own little personal water bottle. They always carry it around, and they, it's filled with water. Or sometimes tea. They love tea, obviously. Uh, a lot of tea here, a lot of different types of tea. Hot water is like the, the cure-all here, like, oh, you're sick? Drink more hot water. You oh, got, you broke yeah. your hand? Drink more hot water. Oh, you can't think of a lesson plan? Drink more hot water. <laughs> what? Drink I more heard, hot water is that news. for everything. Uh, you have HIV? You know hot water will probably solve that. Obviously, drink more hot water. Obviously, and yeah. it's fucking. You're a ginger. <laughs> we drink can more fix hot water. that. <laughs> we can give you a soul with some hot water. <laughs> give but those freckles. It's 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 weird. I kind of grew used to it, honestly. Every, even like when you go to a restaurant, most restaurants they automatically bring you water. Hot water. It's, it's always hot. I've gotten used to it, where I'm just I'm just sipping it. It's not too bad, you know. It's a bit weird drinking hot water. It's okay but... in the winter. Yeah. In the summer though, it's like what the fuck. I'm what not trying to be. What hot are you right? doing? Yeah, give me some cold um, water. And then, speaking of, you know, like, <clears throat> summer, people like to eat ice cream. And before coming out, they didn't think ice cream or sweets or bakeries was a big thing. But it's all over China. Coffee shops, bakeries, ice cream. They love it. More um, bakeries than anything. And Starbucks. Starbucks, bro. Starbucks. I'm, Every corner. I know when I was in Shanghai, when we were in Shanghai, I remember it, it was... A Starbucks across from a Starbucks. Starbucks. And guess what? They were both fucking packed. Yeah. To the brim. No uh, place to sit in either one of them. It was the same thing in Shenzhen, dude. When I went there. Beijing, same thing. And here now, at Park 66, they opened one right on the other side. Starbucks. And then you go around the back. There's Starbucks. Two. And then that other Starbucks. There's three Starbucks consecutive. There's two. There's three Starbucks at Park 66? There's two actual at Park 66. And then you know that other one that's passed at the two-floor Starbucks? Passed by Lazy's, Starbucks, ah. Starbucks, Starbucks. So there's a new one in the middle. That's part of the demand is high here for Starbucks. It's crazy, and they're all fucking full. They don't even have a place to sit. 
I remember Axe, like a guy who worked there, I was cool with. Uh, it could be more now, but Jinan's a big city. But where I'm from, other than Roselle, I don't think there was a Starbucks there. Maybe there was, but the Starbucks that I know was in Linden, which is just like the next town over. The city's big, but when I asked the guy, he said there's a, there's over 14 Starbucks in this city, on top of all the other coffee shops. Like Man Coffee is an, a known coffee spot. You got UBC Coffee. Mm. You got the knockoff. Yo time coffee. This is a Costa from for you UK mm. people, guys from the UK. There's Costa, a couple Costas <clears> here, but it's just seems like overkill, you know. But it, they they're all packed, they're all killing it. But I guess it's convenient for all you white girls out there. <laughs> um, and speaking of like Starbucks and just Western food, one thing I do like here that you guys might envy us for is you know <clears throat> we all like to have shit delivered us you know here i can get mcdonald's burger king starbucks what have you fucking delivered to my house you get anything delivered here. yeah practically anything uh you just gotta know how to fuck with the chinese app i don't know how to read chinese so but that's just awesome to have i've been ordering hong kong 56 to my house it's fucking great hong kong delivers yeah wow, matron no, no. will pick up basically with the services it's an app and these people aren't related to the restaurants but what they are is they're like an individual service. They go, they buy the food, and then they come back and they give it to you or whatever. And you pay them or you... Actually, you pay through WeChat. That's what I've been doing. Pay through WeChat. They go get it, pick it up, and then bring it to your doorstep. And a guy comes on a, a little e-bike. Here you go. Here's your here's your food. Yeah, so I, I learned how to... We don't have delegate. to tip the delivery guy. No, or the no, restaurants no either. No tip in here. It's disrespectful. Don't you fucking do it. Don't do it. Don't be that guy. dare tip me. I have tried to tip uh, my guy who cuts my hair, and he just, no. Get the fuck out of my yeah. shop. I'm like, come on, no, no, and he's just like, no. I'm like, oh, shit, all right. Yeah, but it's just seen as a form of disrespect. I don't know the real reason. I can speculate. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot of, you know, they say China has the face culture. Um, so I'm assuming that if you tip somebody, they're thinking like, what, do you think I'm poor? You think I don't make enough money? You think I need this? So they just don't take it. Uh, there could be other reasons. Maybe that's not the reason at all. But that's what I'm thinking it is. I'd agree with that. I think so. Yeah. I think it's that. Um, yeah, it's what it is. Occasionally, some people might take it. If it's like small, small change, I guess. What else? Well, another drink I see here a lot in the mornings that a lot of my uh, Chinese coworkers drink is that, that warm soy milk. They have a... <laughs> I don't think it's good. I don't like but, that. Uh, it's basically just, yeah, that's all it is. It's just soy milk. They keep it in this thing. It's warm, and she adds a bunch of sugar to it. And, uh, yeah, they bring it upstairs, and that'll be, like, their breakfast drink. Sugared up, uh, warm fucking soy milk. I hate but, it. Or milk tea. Breakfast here is interesting. They have all the street food vendors, oh, little my, sandwiches. Yeah. We'll show you guys that. Dirt cheap. Yeah. Uh, three quiet. Gives <laughs> you a nice sandwich. It's got pork uh, and the sliced uh, potatoes on it. Yeah, you get like something called like Xiaobing. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's it's this little bun, Chinese bread. They slice it open and they can shove anything in there. Meat, egg, and it's filling. Just one little thing. It's probably like that big and like that thick. And I know I went to a spot, Five Kwai, for that. One fills me up. Five Kwai was a Teriyaki shelving. It's under a dollar for this little uh, this little bun. Or like I said, if you want like a little breakfast uh, meal, where I used to live in the East, Michael introduced me to it, and uh, you see it all over. Uh, it's kind of like it's not a shelving, but it's bread. Kind of like a little omelet they make, and then they fold it, and there's egg, there's seasoning, there's little vegetables, and it's a massive little like egg sandwich. Mm. Fucking three quarters, half a dollar for a nice big old sandwiches for, for 50 cents yeah um, obviously western restaurants you're going to pay about what you pay back in the states maybe a bit less I think um, but yeah there are a lot of western restaurants here McDonald's Burger King um, KFC is KFC they here. fucking love that shit maybe because it's, it's fried hmm. um, what else <clears throat> and then in the typical like you'll find different restaurants owned by Chinese people, but they cater to Western uh, cuisine, and it's pretty good. 
because um, sometimes they might have their own flavor, their own little Chinese twist to it. Western restaurants are going to run you a bit more. Um, yeah. It's just that whole Western thing. Anything Western, honestly. Yeah, even like coffee shops. Coffee here is fucking expensive. Well, Unless said, you get it from Unimart now, the Chinese like version of 7-Eleven. They sell coffee for pretty cheap, but like the other coffee places, pretty expensive compared to in the States. Well, more expensive I don't know, like thing. Starbucks, I feel like it's about the same, except for like the plain, like regular coffee, it's more, but like if you want like... The fancy um, shit? Yeah, I don't know about the fancy shit. The fancy shit. shit's about the same, but you'll pay more for the regular, just a regular coffee cup is, of joe. Yeah, it's stupid. But that's because it's a Western commodity thing. People love it here. They're, they're making a killing on it, so they're not lowering their prices. They definitely are. Uh, one gripe I have, though, when it comes to food is, I'm from Jersey, he's from New York. We love pizza. And, man, they just don't know how to do it here. There's one spot that we have found that's the closest, but it's still nothing like it. Um, it's decent. It's decent. They just don't really understand how to make a, an authentic East Coast American pizza, you know? And I miss, I, I do miss it. Um, but when it comes to, like, you know, McDonald's and all that, it tastes just like it would at home, which is a relief because I love McDonald's. I don't give a fuck what they put in it. I love it. I wouldn't know. I haven't eaten it since I've been here. It's delicious. I had McDonald's for 15 years. You should just cave in and try. I don't really like it. I'd rather go to Burger King. I was going to go to...